Hi guys, welcome to the first part of how to import coordinates, many coordinates into CPAC. Firstly, I have uh, created a folder where I have put the CSV file which has my uh, data. Uh, the data that we are going to use is the one which is named first file. First, first list, listen, and it's an, X, a CS, it's an Excel file. So CPAC reads a CSV file. So the first, thing, the first thing that you have to do is to know how to change this Excel file into a CSV file. So you click save, then you click save as, then it will show you a window where you can change everything. Then here we go. So save is the file name. Uh, I'll write my name here. So I will be saving it as Kali so that I can remember. You have to save it whatever way you remember. Then you go to save as type. Then the type you want is CSV comma delimit needed so that SEPA will read the file. Then you say save. Uh, then you save. Yes. Uh, then you close. Then you want to save changes to Kali CSV. Yes. Then you apply, yes, then you close, it's done, the file has been saved as a CSV, if you can see, it has an A on it, even if you click, you see there is an A in the comma, which means it's a CXL comma separated file, then you are done on saving, then you open your save pack, mine is already pre-open, so as to save time, then you select, there is something which is called a working directory. Uh, that's the one you will find with the folder that you find with the tick. So in this case, our working directory want to work in the one, the file named learning. So you right click on name, on learning. Uh, my laptop is a bit slow. So we can it We will improve as time goes on. Try it again. Okay, there we go. Learning. So for some laptops, it may be slow. Then you right click, then you save. You say you right click, then you say save it is working directory. Then you save, set it. Now my learning my learning folder is the working directory. So from there you go to file. Then you click the left click, then you go to import, then you say data from many file many many file strings. Then you select that one. Uh, the name of the file that you wanna you then you select the name of the file that you wanna use, the CSV file. In this case this one named Kali CSV. You open, then you go to define define files to be created. Then this is the name of the file that you want to create. In this case, you want it to be named learning, so that we know the our file. So it has been written naming. Then you save. Then you go to character separator. We have to have a, our remember our information or our data, our coordinates are comma separated. So you put a comma here. Does the file have a header? It does, so you click on the header. If you can go back to the CSV file or whatever one of these files to check, it will show you that it has a header. Whilst we wait for it to open, we go to does file have access records? Records we don't have the number of description files that we have. We only have one description file. If you remember, uh, that's the naming. We have the uh, the naming of the point, this is the description file that is being talked about. Then we have the X, the Y, and the Z. So from there, the description file will be the first column. So we have only we have one description file. So you go and write number of description file, we have one, then you apply. Now you have to be a bit careful on the second screen which will pop up this one. They say define the string number. String number you select a one whatever number that you want. The the string number is just the color of the string that you will be used. The strings are the 
lines that you'll be using to draw so in this case my point is i want to them to have the number three string five we'll learn about it as time goes on uh, the y value let's check the y value is in the first second in the third column then the x is in the second column and the z our elevation is in the fourth column then we enter that third for y second for x then fourth for the y the z value then you click apply then after applying you can see right here on the corner it's processing the data then description our description file again it was we have one description field and it was for this data we are using it was in it is in first folder first column sorry so we hit first columns you might find it will be in other other cases it will be in the fifth sixth whatever but you have to select the column that you want for the data let me say apply oh uh, before you know it it has been saved if you check where my case is it says 168 points written to file lane stream so if you go to your working directory on the one that you have selected you see that there is a file which a string file which has been created uh that's written learning it is an str uh extension which means it's now a string file you just click on it uh right click left click on it then you drag it to the screen then you let it go then you see these are all points uh they have been saved uh thank you for watching i'll see you on the second i'll see you on the second